Hi, this is Cammie. Welcome or welcome back to my luxury channel where I don't edit. I don't have the greatest equipment. My thumbnails are not so hot and uh, my lighting is usually off, but I love doing videos about luxury, contemporary, style, um, whatever that might be in my closet that I think is of interest, I might share with you. So if you like that kind of stuff, stick around and please subscribe hit the bell notification so you know when I upload videos and you could see my videos when they come because it helps my channel grow if you watch them. And if you watch the whole thing, not just fast forward. <laughs> um, and that's okay if you do. I'm not, you know, I'm not telling you what you need to do, but go get a drink, go to the bathroom, put your makeup on, let the camera roll. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not sure if you're seeing this video and I will get right into it. If you've been following me, you know that I have always been a denim and a blue lover of handbags, clothing, um, and now with all the craze, everyone's doing the whole denim thing. Um, so that'll be short-lived for everybody else, but not for me because I just happen to really love denim. I'm very attracted to denim. The reason I said I don't know if you're gonna see this video is because I just bought a bag from Fashion File I've been looking at this bag for a very long time, among all the others that I'm always looking at for a very long time. See, there's something flashing on my screen and I don't know why, because the, the lighting is really good. So hopefully you're not seeing, that's weird. Okay, anyway, let me open this right away before the video goes wonky. The reason I said I might not show this to anybody, I might, you not, might not be seeing this is because the last few videos of the denim bags that I purchased, and I'll link those chan those videos down below. The Coach Tabby 26 was flawed. I had to send it back. The Tory uh, Mini Fleming I sent back because it was way smaller than I expected. Um, and then I did a video on the two Givenchy bags. And yes, I sent them back. Sorry. Listen, this is what my channel is. I'm a luxury channel. I buy luxury goods. I don't see them in person most of the time. So when I get them, I want to do an authentic unboxing. I want to show you the item. I want to decide if I'm going to keep it. So it shouldn't really matter what I do with it, if I return it or not, as long as I'm honest. I'm never going to tell you that I have a bag that I returned six months ago. I'm, I won't do that. Um, I'll always tell you that I returned it and for what reason I returned it. But I know that people frown upon that. Not, 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 not sure why. I mean, people buy bags, unbox luxury bags weekly and then sell half of them six months later. What's the difference? Some people show bags on their screen, you know, pictures, and talk about them. So they didn't actually buy them, but they're still talking about them. So if I buy it and get it in my house and talk about it and then decide I really don't like it, nobody should really care if I send it back, right? But I said, you know what? I don't want people to start, you know, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> So I'm going to unbox it. I'm going to check it out because I normally put things of this price point on reserve but only if it's in excellent condition, which this is, without a flaw. And I usually, um, I, I call Fashion File, I get a personal shopper to take the item out, to send me more pictures, to send me a video, and discuss every inch of the bag before I decide to reserve it, because I don't want to lose money. If you cancel a reserve, you lose 10%. That's a lot of money, you know, especially on these price handbags. So. I had the personal shopper show me this and send me pictures and I decided to buy it outright because if I want to send it back, it'll only cost $15 to return. And I'm afraid of this one because there is a mark. There's actually two marks that I see. The personal shopper said they're really not noticeable in person, but they were noticeable on film and in the camera. So I didn't want to take that chance. So I bought it. And if I feel it's too flawed for me to spend 
what I spent, then I'm sending it back. So I'll decide after if I'm going to show the video. Okay. So going along with the denim craze, and I've been watching this bag for a very long time, and I kept missing it. And I, it's on other places. It's on eBay for um, it, in better condition, but I don't trust eBay. I don't trust. I don't trust most pre-owned sites. I don't trust the real real because they do a lot of shady crap. Um, I don't tr trust um, Rebag or because uh, I've heard stories about them too. But Fashion File, I trust. So let's see what I got. It came with the dust bag, supposedly. Oh, they sent me two two nail files. How generous. <laughs> Okay. Um, I've been looking at this for a long time. Oh, I just saw a bird fly by my window. I thought it almost hit my window. Now, I just bought this jacket, and when I do mod shots, because I will, <laughs> um, I'll stand up and show you. I just bought this jacket in Express. I believe it was like 120, 130, definitely over 100, and it was on sale for 50. So, how to get it. How to get it. I bought two because I bought one in the extra small and the small. I didn't know how their sizes run in jackets. So this is actually the extra small, which I'm surprised about because I have a big chest and big, you know, shoulders. So extra small never fits me. But in this jacket, it, it does. So let's show you what I got here. I've been looking at this bag for so long. I really have. Um, and I'm praying that it's not ew because if it's ew I'm not keeping it I can't I just can't I'm not going to spend thousand, two thousand over two thousand on a bag that has marks on it that's somebody else's garbage that's how I look at it I'm not with with marks 500 tops tops for me i guess maybe if it's chanel or hermes or louis i just let the cat out of the bag it's a louis okay you ready now i don't have my glasses on and i'm gonna put my glasses on This is the, don't know, Matt, what the heck is this called? What is this called? <laughs> Let me put my glasses on. I know it's an Alma, we know that. What is it called? It's the Denim Calfskin Reversible Maltalese or something it's called. I'm not sure, okay. Here's the mark. All right, first let me show you. This is, I guess, the front because it has the lock and the and the key clochette, whatever it's called. I mean, you could always switch it. So this is the front. This is the back. This is the bottom the side and the other side my biggest pet peeve is corner wear so i'm going to take a magnifying glass and check the corners and the edges um, i will not accept any bag that has cracking i don't like cracking except on my eggs i don't like cracking and i don't like pitted tarnished hardware it could be a little scratched that's okay but pitted and tarnished no not a fan of that so right off the bat there was one mark that i was concerned with and i see it right where it shows it was i'm looking all around i don't see it anywhere else let me show it to you right now it's a white mark 
right here. You see that? Where my finger is? It appears to be a scuff. And there are experts out there like Ed Braun, um, Dawn uh, from Dawn Loves Couture. I will put their channels down below. They're fantastic. They know a lot about bags. Ed does a lot of refurbishing. Um, I looked up, I Googled, and they said to get white scuffs out, a little eraser with white vinegar. Don't know if that's true. Um, I'm going to ask everybody before I do that, of course. Um, so, yeah, let's... This, this looks like it's in amazing condition. He said that the denim was perfect. This is so nice. All right. The hardware looks very, very shiny. Very shiny. Does not look marked up at all. The lock looks beautiful. Can you see the lock? Let's open it because it's supposed to have the strap and the dust bag. Oh, okay. It has the little um, pouch. That's good. I didn't remember that for the keys. The dust bag. Okay, the strap is in the dust bag. There we go. I did not see anything on the strap. Oh, the strap is plain. Okay. Um, the hardware on the strap looks very good too. It looks very shiny, very good. I don't see any marks on the strap. I thought the strap would have LVs on it also, like the bag, but that's okay. It doesn't That doesn't matter to me. It's not adjustable. <laughs> it's not adjustable. That could be an issue for me because I'm, you know what I am. So let's do a quick mod shot. Now we know the Almas um, have the hooks diagonal. Isn't the greatest, but it's okay. And... Um, Wait, let me just open the inside. The inside, I don't know if that's suede, micro suede. It says, made in France. There's the, the, the thing, whatever it's called. It has um, a tag in the slip pocket. I don't know if you could see. There's a tag in the slip pocket with the code. The inside is in looks like almost pristine condition really beautiful um yeah so this is this is this is actually better than i expected i got nervous i said i don't usually do that i don't usually buy something that is obviously flawed i don't um but the little white mark when i started researching on how do you get out white scuffs it seemed simple and it's this is this is the only mark i see on the bag i believe i don't see anything else i thought there was a little nicks in the patch here but i don't even see them now oh okay on this side very very slight See, when you photograph under lighting, these flaws are magnified. They really are. So usually bags, in my personal experience, they come better than what they look like. So I thought this part right here was really rubbed off, and it's really not. I don't know if you could see it. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't look rubbed off at all. Oh my God, I love this. All right, let's throw this on. Okay, first of all, it looks like you're going to be seeing this video because it looks like I'm keeping this baby. Let me uh, get up. So this is, um, I'm just wearing a white t-shirt. My gold um, coach necklace that I picked up at TJ Maxx a long time ago with the C's. It was like $39.99. So this is the jacket, which I like that it lays... You know, it's a little bit boxy, but 
if you tie it, you know, it'll look cute. And what I liked about it is it has silver hardware, silver buttons. Most of my denim jackets are gold. Most of my denim bags are gold. But I do have a couple that, well, I have one right now that has silver hardware. So that's why I kind of bought this. I had that in mind. So, yeah, so this is, um, again, let me uh, show you how cute it looks for 50 bucks. And let's see, I think this strap looks pretty short, so I don't think it'll be an issue for me. No issue at all. This strap might be an issue for people that are much taller or broader. I don't know if all the Almas have straps that are not adjustable. I've never had an Alma before. Um, I believe I had the Alma Nano, but I sent it back because it was flawed from Louis Vuitton. And I sent that back. I don't think it had an adjustable strap either. What do you think? right this bag is light as a feather also it's light as a feather the handles look amazing what I like is that this will probably hold up in the rain the denim you don't want to get it caught in a downpour we get that but you can't get any bag caught in a downpour except maybe MZ Wallace nylon bags um, but this is really uh, way better than I thought. Again, sometimes, like my other Louis Vuitton that I bought, um, the Neo Speedy Denim was in amazing condition for such an old bag. For such an old bag. <laughs> Am I in good condition? I'm an old bag. Anyway, I think this is a keeper. I think it's a keeper. I'm going to try and get that spot out. There is it. This one little white spot right here. Even the bottom looks untouched. Wow. Tell me what you think, guys. I absolutely love this bag. And I'm very happy with the condition. I'm thrilled. Thank you for coming. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.